what? Man, isn't this a lovely crowd out here? My yeah, God. Isn't it great to do live television? Huh? Um, way back 27 years ago, we started doing that. Remember, That's Paul? Right. We sure did. Art's been with us almost all the 27 years we've been uh, on television here with Channel 5. All of those years, yeah. yeah. And we call it the fun group up here, or Art the King of Sweat. He not does not perspire sweating. a little bit. I'm not, not sweating today. <laughs> you got an old favorite you want to do for us right now? Hey, how about row, row, row? Let's roll. That 
would happen that we could achieve. So let's be together for all of our time. We'll go out so thankful that you are so mine. Whoa, 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 whoa. makes me want to dance. Better place, cause I know you're mine. This love is so real, and it's no surprise. So come on and say, yeah. and tell me you're mine. Cause throughout the years, I'll be right by your side. Whoa, 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 whoa. makes me wanna dance. Whoa, 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 whoa. it's a new romance. Well, happy Polka Sunday morning, all of you fine people out there in internet radio land. Boy, howdy, we do appreciate you for being here on the Sunday Morning Polka Show. As we work our way through another fine episode of bringing you classics, uh, brand new music, and everything in between. Even that first set of music indicated those principles right there. We heard right there, best years of our lives. The latest music from John Gora and Gorale. Before that, we heard Art Perko doing uh, the quick stop, uh, but we also heard a little bit of row, row, row. That was a little bit quieter, but it gave uh, Art Perko a chance to uh, say a few words before playing some fabulous music. And we began the set and the show with the Green Woods Polka from Don Yodlowski's Vibra Sounds. This is the Sunday Morning Polka Show of Northwest Ohio. I am your host, David Jackson, pleased as pierogi to be bringing you the finest in polkas, waltzes, and obetics, the occasional mystery tune, news from Poland, and the Polish word of the day. Why don't we go ahead and take a look at that Polish word of the day. Here it is. It is a noun, once again. Lots of nouns in a row now. Eventually, again, we'll have some verbs, but here's another noun. Plakat. Plakat. Here it is in a sentence. Plakat reklamował najnowszy film Spielberga. Yeah, and that last word is Spielberg. Uh, but uh, it has to have an A on the end because of the nature of cases in Poland. I think that that might be uh, making it uh, possessive. Would that be the genitive case? I'm not sure. But in any event, why don't we listen to some more music? After all, that's why most people turn into or tune into <laughs> uh, a Sunday morning polka show. We're going to go ahead and dig up a classic piece of vinyl from Ray J and the Carousels, uh, one called The Scolding Mother. <laughs> Nie mam czabi, nie mnie, że ja chłopcu, że ja chłopcu całuję. Widzi mam czab, widzi mam czab, jak to źle. Wszystkie panny chłopcy mają, a ja nie. Marysiu, uży daj, mamusi je pitaj, bo mam czab tak robiła, jak jeszcze młodą biła. Jak 
Johnny Budd right there. That's who that was. Johnny Budd doing the fabulous Tulip Obetic. How about that? Then we heard Dick Piller doing No Problem. Uh, there were a couple of skips in there. Those were built in because a couple of naughty dogs were running around the studio bumping into the turntable. And to start off that set, uh, we heard some uh, fabulous music from uh, Ray J and his carousels. Yes, we did. One called The Scolding Mother. That one didn't have any skips. You are tuned to the Sunday Morning Polka Show of Northwest Ohio with your host, David Jackson. New plan is we broadcast live from 9 until 10, hope the technology works, and then 10 o'clock we take that one hour, do the voodoo that we do so well, and put it out there on the Mixcloud in an archive for the 300 or so people who each week consistently tune in to our fabulous little broadcast. We have to keep changing things because the technology keeps changing. That's the situation we find ourselves in until such time as we're allowed back into a radio studio, which we don't know when that's going to be. One of the features we like to bring you on the Sunday Morning Polka Show is the Polish Word of the Day. We've already done that, and we'll revisit it again. But we also like to bring you the news from Poland. And as we sort through the Radio Poland website, we skip all of the news related to the pandemic and try to find something else to talk about. So here's the headline. Polish movie wins acclaim in Paris. Mr. Jones, the latest movie by Polish director Agnieszka Holland, continues to be a top feature at the box office in France and the leading film in Paris. The film has topped the country's list of new releases and hit the top three at the box office, Polish news agency PAP reported, quoting the Polish Film Institute, PISF. In the week starting June 22nd, it was watched by 67,000 French viewers, according to PISF. In mid-May, Mr. Jones was selected one of the best films of 2020 by The Guardian. They said, Agnieszka Holland has a real story to tell, a story that isn't told enough, and a single compelling and likable character with which to tell it. It's a picture with sinew and strength, the British Daily wrote on its website. The Guardian had given the movie four out of five stars upon its 2019 release, calling it bold and heartfelt. Mr. Jones traces the life of Welsh journalist Gareth Jones, who reported on the Great Famine in Soviet Ukraine, which killed millions in 1932 and 1933. According to historians, the famine was devised by Joseph Stalin to eliminate a Ukrainian independence movement. In the film, Jones is portrayed by English actor James Norton. Now, in tribute to fine Ukrainian topics and the horrible story that the beautiful movie tells. Here is the Ukrainian National Anthem. <laughs>
Walter Ostenik doing uh, fabulous Ukrainian folk music there for you. Uh, in fact, that's what they call that one, the Ukrainian folk polka. I'm sure you noticed the Red Rose polka uh, was built into there as well. We also heard the Ukrainian national anthem in that fascinating set of polka and other music. That's what we promise you on the Sunday Morning Polka Show. Polkas, waltzes, obedics, and the occasional mystery tune thrown in as well. And often the mystery tunes are directed by the news or the Polish word of the day. It all turns into a beautiful Polish and other ethnicities casserole of interesting concepts, both musical, news, and words. Or at least that's the attempt. Sometimes it's just a disaster. (laughs) Sometimes it's a souffle that flops. But in any event, thank you for tuning in. You're about halfway through. This is the Sunday Morning Polka Show of Northwest Ohio. I'm your host, David Jackson. Thank you so much for being here. We very much appreciate it because with uh, the technology and the sometimes limited scope of our little broadcast, we're perilously close to playing radio anyway, and we'd be a lot closer if you weren't tuning in. So thank you very much for tuning in. And hey, when you listen to the show on the Mixcloud, there's a comment section on there. Please feel free to use the comment section to tell us what you think about the show, to tell us any requests or dedications you may have, anything you want to throw at us. Uh, Because of some comments from last week's show, we actually have something planned for this week's show in response to it. So we attempt, uh, even with the limitations we have of connectivity, to be as closely connected to you all as possible. Hey, let's take a look at that Polish word of the day another time, shall we? Brought to you by TransparentLanguage.com. They don't sponsor the show, but I'll tell you who does. One moment on that, and that is the Polish American Journal. The Polish American Journal is a fabulous newspaper that comes out once a month. In the summer times, it comes out sort of one episode per two months. But the Polish American Journal, www.polamjournal.com, is an absolutely fabulous and inexpensive one-stop shop for everything in terms of news from Poland, news from Polonia. They have a PAJ, Polish American Journal, bookstore where you can buy fabulous other things to read. Why, this month, if I may tout the Polish American Journal, I can say there is a 1,000-word article written by yours truly, David Jackson, about Polish American festivals based on surveys of activists who organize the festivals. Um, You can only get that in the print edition. You can go to the website and see hints of what's in the print edition. But hey, they sell content as well they should because the content isn't cheap to produce. So that's www.polamjournal.com. Go there, subscribe. It's inexpensive. I subscribe online um, and get a, a PDF of the newspaper instead of a paper version. But you can pay a little more and get a paper version. It's up to you. Please subscribe to the Polish American Journal. All right, that being said, here is the Polish word of the day, plakat, plakat. Here it is in a sentence. Plakat reklamował najnowsze film Spielberga. And with that being said, let's get back into the polka music. You've endured a couple of rants and some advertisement, um, or a promotion anyway, for the Polam Journal. Let's go ahead and hear the Nightingale Polka by Bernie Witkowski, the Skowronek Polka. <laughs> Thank you. 
A fabulous set of music for you right there. That was Lenny Gamolka doing Can't Wait for the Weekend. Before that, we heard brand new music from Dinah Brass, Nothing But Trouble. 
and a good old classic, Scratchy 78, if you will, from Bernie Witkowski called the Nightingale or Skowronek Polka. So on the Sunday Morning Polka Show's Mixcloud page, where everybody should go to listen to hundreds of hours of archived episodes of the Sunday Morning Polka Show of Northwest Ohio, which is what you're listening to right now. Thank you very much. We had a conversation the other day that went something like uh, this. A woman whose last name is Masterson, I believe it is. Uh, let me make sure I've got this correct. No, Masterman. Masterman was uh, indicating that she was listening, and she said for a long time her husband Marv Masterman uh, had a fabulous polka band, and I looked around for some recordings and found a couple, so I hope this is right. I hope these are, in fact, the man in question. Uh, if so, that's wonderful. Uh, if not, uh, it's still good because it's really fabulous music. So we're going to play two from uh, Marv Masterson uh, and the uh, Oakdale Dutchman. I believe that's the formal name of the band. And it's a couple of good tunes. Uh, one a polka and one a waltz. So enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. 
was a fabulous band from Toledo called Crusade. Doing one called She Knows It. She Knows It. Yes, she does. Here on the Sunday Morning Polka Show of Northwest Ohio. And before that, we heard a couple of fabulous tunes from Marv Masterson and the Oakdale Dutchman. We heard the bouquet of waltzes, ro- <laughs> waltz, the bouquet of roses, waltz. And then before that, we heard the Dominique Polka. Yeah, this is the Sunday Morning Polka Show of Northwest Ohio with your host, David Jackson. Let's take a quick visit over for the last time for the Polish word of the day. The Polish word of the day is plakat. It's a noun and it means poster. Plakat reklamował najnowszy film Spielberga means the poster advertised Spielberg's newest film. And there you go with your Polish word of the day here on the Sunday Morning Polka Show. Well, we are approaching the final set of music. So we're going to uh, just talk about the final set of music and then go ahead and play it. And then that will be the end of the big broadcast. So I will speak for a little while to tell you what's coming up. And basically what's going to come up is some Ed Blazanczyk. And then we're going to end because it's the uh, 4th of July Independence Day weekend with a fabulous rendition of the Star Spangled Banner. So that's how the show is going to wrap up with some Eddie B, some fine Polish-American polka music, and then the Star Spangled Banner. So thank you very much for tuning in to the Sunday Morning Polka Show. Stick around for that last set of music. If the good Lord's willing and the creeks don't rise and the technology works somewhat, we will be back next week. Remember, you can always send us an email at sundaypolka at gmail.com. And be sure to go ahead and use the uh, chat, not chat, but the uh, comment feature on the Mixcloud and give us your thoughts, your requests, your dedications. I notice uh, a few folks are listening live and uh, a man named Tack K9 says, Happy Sunday to my mother, Suzanne in Toledo. And I say thanks for tuning in to that small cadre who tune into the uh, live portion, which we don't advertise much anymore because uh, we're not so sure it's always going to work. Anyway, so let's hear some Eddie B and then the uh, American National Anthem. And until next week, uh, do zobaczenia. Thank you. 